G'day. Hello, Vinay. Hey, Mac. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, I guess uh, all things considered, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, by the way, uh, great job on uh, all the coordination and picking up and running these meetings. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I appreciate that. So happy to help. Yeah. As, uh, as I believe Dan and others have noted a few times, uh, while we find our feet, uh, chop wood, carry water, and the rest still, the rest still come. <laughs> right. By the way, um, do you by chance know who added um, the, uh, I guess, the open item for discussion today? I don't see any PRs, but I see this. Uh... Actually, can I confirm if my screen share is working? I'm just, I've never sure. confirmed with anyone if Zoom lets me share a single app, just so. Let's see, how do I do that again? Share, uh, there we go. So is uh, my browser window rendering now like on the yeah i mean it's the it's the it's it's our meeting notes uh document yes perfect okay so i'm using zoom properly because uh someone added this one here and i just moved it down and i guess formalized uh, you know, i would like to i would like dod exotic security controls for kubernetes uh, just because i saw this but no one put their name and there was no update there so i just want to know uh, to call out or offer to step up and cover this topic when we get to it yeah, we'll find out. And if not, I'll just shelve it till next week till someone decides they want to raise this topic specifically. Right. What was the topic, Matthew? Good day, Dan. Uh, here, I moved it from the top section of the document, which was sort of planned future meetings and moved it to today's. And this whole highlighted area is pretty much uh, the addition uh, wrote slash verbatim. And someone just added this, but I didn't put an author or anything there, so I wasn't sure whom to offer to discuss this. I wonder if that is the individual who was looking for DoD compliance feedback a few meetings back. Is this something that should go here in the discussions or is this something more where someone would file a, a ticket or something in uh, GitHub and then um, use that channel to get this discussion going? Right, I'm not sure if uh, so we have yeah. the subject matter expert to bring to bear. Okay, I'll just make it an open item and if anyone knows then they can chime in during the open floor. And if not, I'll just leave it in the document and no one chimes in for X weeks. So I'll just remove it. Sounds good. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the screen share for the moment. Hey, folks, uh, really quickly, are there any questions on the Harbor review that's happening? I mean, I don't see Andres uh, here. I see Martin. Nope. Uh, I didn't see anything on the agenda either. I'm just wondering if I need to be here or not today. Oh, there's CNCF Harbor there, and someone just said hello, but their mic gain's a little low. Oh, you can't hear me? No, no, I can hear you. Uh, someone else. Oh, you. <laughs> I can hear them. Morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. All right, folks are still trickling in. I'll wait then <laughs> to ask my question later, just in case Justin or Andres uh, show up. The other Justin, by the way, not Cormax. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I work with other Justins. I'm used to the Justin confusion problem. So, Michael, unless um, you know, there's business particularly covered, uh, scheduled, um, the assessment flow um, doesn't really weave back through. Um, you know, run of business meetings too much. So um, you know, that's, that's been the, the pattern. Um, 
I did that. I'll just jump out at that point then. I have a conflict. Okay. Meeting, so. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah. Good seeing you. Okay, so it's about five minutes in. We're at roughly critical mass. Uh, if there's anyone that's new here, this is your first meeting. I just posted a link in the chat to our attendance. So feels, please feel free to put your name in there. And if you have no update or you don't want to be called on, just please put quote unquote, no update next to your name. And if you'd like to introduce yourself or if you have a topic you'd like to bring up, uh, just append that to the side of your name and we'll get to you during the introductions. With that being said, I, first things first, I need to ask if anyone's able to volunteer as a scribe slash meeting minute taker today. Some of those people just silently step in and volunteer. Some people may be late because Zoom now requires account registration and a bunch of other bullshit that makes me think we should switch to a different provider. Sorry, uh, Zoom requires registration now? Yes. I can kind of see that. I There was a thing in uh, the news, I think it was um, some local station just a few weeks back on people pranking Zoom calls because they were unauthenticated and they couldn't kick the person out. It was like Ventrilo uh, calls like 10 years back. Right. right. Uh, but you know, like the client software for Zoom has a bunch of bugs and problems and they've done a bunch of really poor things from a security posture that makes me think that like having a group like SIG Security for the CNCF using Zoom sends a, a poor message. So I think we should, uh, we should consider if there's something else we could use. Uh, the only ones with which I'm versed or at least familiar is WebEx and Slack, which I believe we already have Slack, but I don't know if we have to pay more, or come up with funding for uh, video chat calls. Um, actually, this is a point. Do you want, by any chance, uh, Justin, if you don't get the chance, I could do it, but do you want to throw a, maybe an issue in the GitHub page there and I'll add it to the next meeting and at least address it to the best of my ability uh, after this meeting? That sounds like a very good yeah. Idea. I can I can add a issue, or I heard somebody else speak up. I'll let them talk. So just in just a little bit of context there, um, you know, we lean on um, the CNCF for infrastructure around Zoom, and you know, our meetings are automatically uh, recorded and archived, and um, you know set aside for us to, uh, you know, through mechanisms of the CNCF. So just know that, um, you know, when we, we decide to break from the pack, uh, when and if we decide to break from the pack, that, uh, you know, there is a herd phenomenon there that we'll have to, um, you know, be advocating and potentially, um, you know, there, there's the potential for us to, to lose that battle uh, and, uh, you know, the broader collective to say, um, hey, um, you know, this is uh, good enough, but uh, I'm with you, you know, since uh, there are explicitly security concerns with, with Zoom that have come to light in the last few weeks, um, you know, the ease of use that uh, um, I've, I've become accustomed to is uh, a lot more suspect. Okay, I don't yet have any scribes uh, at the moment. If anyone's able to step in, great, thank you. Uh, push comes to shove, I'll wait till the meeting goes up uh, on YouTube and I'll just uh, extract some minutes post facto from that. Uh, so before going forward, is there anyone from any external working groups or special interest groups, say CNCF SIGs, uh, here today that has any updates? Crickets. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go through the attendance here. I see one individual with an update, Mark Underwood. Uh, no update, but comment on simulation. Uh, Mark, can we pass the mic to you? Sure. Hey, everybody. I'll keep this short. So I belong, I published a paper a long time ago with a uh, separate professional association that deals with simulation standards interoperability. And in light of this pandemic thing, I think there's a lot of lessons learned around how to integrate simulation into security. Uh, this is one of the takeaways I think that we're gonna end up with. Uh, in, in the past, this usually came up in terms of cloud scalability. 
but I think there's more to this than scalability. And, you know, I could invite somebody from that association to talk about the current state of the art in that and, you know, how this might be fit into uh, security practices. But I just thought I'd mention that in light of this. You know, I used to own the pandemicsimulation.com site uh, because we had a failed proposal to deal with this in the H1N1 uh, era. That would be 2009 or so. So I had some familiarity with it then. DOD and uh, uh, DHS are both in, has showed some interest in it in, uh, in that time frame, but uh, it really hasn't been fully adopted in security practice. So, you know, given that we're kind of leaders in the cloud space, it's something we could think about. I, th I could think it fits in the, uh, the bleeding edge category as opposed to must do things for incubating projects, of course. That was it. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Okay, if there are no comments or questions for Mark, I'll just go through alphabetically to our attendance for the updates. Uh, Dan, I have one for you. Yeah, so yesterday was uh, TOC meeting day um, with SIG updates. Um, as we look out, probably May timeframe, uh, we have a, you know, of course we have Har Harbor, which is, uh, um, you know, progressing and, and then, you know, on our horizon, we have three new projects that um, are, you know, coming into our, um, our flow. Um, so Dex and Keycloak um, are uh, identity projects that we, um, you know, uh, are, are, um, sort of pending to uh, evaluate and uh, JJ's uh, begun putting together a bit of an overview for um, you know May as kind of an identity month and we'll uh, you know dive into uh, a couple uh, identity projects and um, you know have uh, you know the, the self-sovereign identity um, that Sarah's gonna um, you know connect uh, on through. So, um, you know, something for the horizon. Um, Justin Cormack, uh, there was another project that uh, um, was supposed to be on my radar, I IDXL or something like that, um, that was mentioned in yesterday's meeting. Oops. IDXL or something, you know, uh, jumble of letters um, that uh, was apparently proposed a couple weeks ago. And I missed um, the TOC meeting. Does that is that ringing a bell? I need to go back and 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 pull that through. There's another. Yeah, there. I do remember that there TBSS. was there was another identity provider that I wasn't familiar with. Was it proposed or just discussed that it hadn't pro formally proposed? I'm not sure. I, okay, I, I, got it. I do remember that there was a second one. So I've, I've been trying to track that down. I, I haven't uh, been able to pick up that thread. If it was um, the one that hadn't proposed, it was the one that there was a Twitter thread which Liz replied on um, where they were concerned that the barrier to entry, f even for Sandbox, was very high. Um, but maybe we want to handhold them. I'll try and find it, if it was that one. Well, Justin, you now know more than I do because I didn't even see that Twitter thread. Um, uh, suggest being able to file a PR so we can actually track things that are right, real rather right. than like desired. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, yeah, the, it, the, those are the two, two known knowns and, and one uh, known unknown uh, yeah. out there that, uh, you know, trying to, to connect the dots and see, um, you know, how much we want to prioritize it. That's all for me. Thank you, Dan. If there are no comments or questions for Dan, I'll move on. I have one from Martin Zrachev. Please correct me if I got that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I know my family name is hard to pronounce even in Bulgarian. Uh, so I had a question. I I commented uh, that I wanted to join as a observer on the Harbor assessment, uh, like a couple of days after the sign off from Dan. So I, want, I wanted to ask if uh, I can formally join. I'm already reading the self-assessment, but 
I just wanted to clarify this. Am I, am I what? Sorry, I'm, uh, I uh, was um, trying to start this Zoom issue up on the thing and I uh, had a hard time finding the tab to unmute. Uh, I don't. I don't have any real problem with it. I don't know what officially being an observer does for you that that unofficially going in and putting comments in doesn't do. But I don't think it really matters. Um, if you did the uh, conflict form, which I, I guess you did, um, then I, I I don't see a real issue. So I can go ahead and add that. Um, I'll do that in I, a moment. I asked because I see that there is uh there should be a chair sign off, co-chair sign off or chair sign off. So that's why I, I asked because I thought this is something uh it's, it's something that should be done, right? For every single uh reviewer or, or participant. Sounds reasonable in general. I myself wanted to do the same, but uh Time didn't permit for me to take part, even just as a fly on the wall observer. But uh, I also wanted to take part in a similar capacity, just so I can, let's say, we're versed in security reviews from our own backgrounds or with our own companies. But we like to sit back, watch the experts, figure out what the standard approach is, and then next time around, not uh, make any silly mistakes. At least that's how I would approach it myself. Yep, I agree. Thank you. Okay. Um, any comments or questions for Martin? Yeah. I, I have a question uh, maybe to Justin Kapos. Um, this is Vinay here. And uh, uh, is there a formal document that we're trying to put together in terms of the next steps uh, that we need to be getting together? I know there's a meeting suggested for the 13th. Is that the first meeting where we get together and figure out a plan uh, to go forward with? Um, I, I think in general, um, as you've been, you and others have been doing, like going in just responding to the questions that the reviewers have is a pretty good way to do things. Um, and in the end, there will be two documents. There will be your document that you write, and then there will be a document that we write that kind of is a summary of what we think. And in general, um, we will try to push you to make your document include the kinds of things we want to say. But, you know, we also have this document that's a page, page and a half, two pages, something like that, that, that gives us the ability also, you know, if we can't agree or if we want to state something a little differently to sort of in our own words, summarize things. Um, so I've been going through and obviously you've, you've seen over the last few nights and earlier today, um, I've left a lot of pretty detailed comments in different places. And um, we can try to chat about those um, either, you know, ahead of that meeting, if, if uh, you like, um, you know, you can reply to my comments too. You can suggest things. We can talk in the Slack channel. Um, however, uh, you know, sort of makes sense to move forward, but you don't have to create like another separate uh, document. The idea is hopefully that document will evolve into something that answers the questions that um, that we all have. Got it. Thank you. That makes sense. Thank you. And I have one last update here from. So, oh, sorry. Go ahead. So just just close the loop there with with, with Martin. Um, so uh, Martin and 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 you, Matthew. Um, you know, on, on being an observer. Um, you know. In, in terms of, um, you know, assessment conflict sign off, uh, it's, it's really, uh, you know, escalating to, to the co-chairs is really, um, you know, to, to help us navigate through uh, any issues where there are conflicts. In a situation where there are, are no conflicts, uh, you know, it's really at the discretion of um, the assessment team and um you know it, it, it's it's always great you know w one of the the topics one of the questions that came up yesterday at the toc meeting is oh my goodness it seems like um you know there's increasing interest in going through uh sig securities assessment process and it's like great like um that's why we build a process and why we're uh you know continuing to invest in growing that that, that team 
Um, so in terms of, you know, observer bandwidth, um, you know, I, I'd, I'd really, uh, you know, look to, um, to Andres and, uh, you know, Justin as, you know, the overall, um, you know, lead in that area. Uh, to advise on you know how much capacity uh, an individual session has to be able to um, to have observers have uh, additional helpers um, it's like uh, you know managing interns right you know it's it it can be um, you know free help but it's also a lot of extra effort to uh, you know carry folks uh, you know through the, the process so um, you know we're all dealing with uh, you know, kind of crazy times in quarantine right now and, you know, fitting in all of these things and, and trying to, you know, keep the, keep everything moving forward. So as long as you come in with the, the mindset of, you know, I'm here to help, um, you know, the, the, the Kubernetes mindset of, you know, chop wood, carry water, um, you know, that is always going to be, um, you know, well received and, uh, you know, look to uh, Andres and uh, Justin for for guidance on, um, you know, how you can help. That sounds very reasonable and pragmatic to me. I see it as a one-off thing in that learn it the first time, pay close attention, and then second time around actually start chipping in and uh, don't, uh, don't treat it like a free learning program, but more something that we're just getting better at contributing to. That's at least a nice spin on it. Thank you. From a from a hardware standpoint, uh, I came back since I saw you guys talking about hardware. Uh, <laughs> I have two Zoom meetings side by side. By the way, this is interesting. Uh, the you know from our side, you know we welcome more observers, like more eyeballs into this. Are going to raise questions that we're improving our docs, we're improving our process. Um, the, the the one thing I will ask is that you know we're almost at the tail end right now. We have our live discussion on Monday. So, um, you know, we went through two weeks of questions. So I don't want to kind of start all over from the beginning. Obviously for the right reasons, we'll do everything like good questions that come up, we'll, we'll go with it. But, you know, bear in mind that in about three business days, we're having a live discussion and start wrapping up. So we are towards the end of that timeline. That's good perspective. Thank you, man. Okay. I have potentially yeah, one more update. We, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. And um, I do, like, as part of my update, which I think I'm the last one, um, right. The uh, I, I want to encourage anyone who is participating in this to really get your comments and things like that in as soon as possible. Um, we, uh, I know there's a tendency to want to wait till the last minute, but because um, like, for instance, I, I've asked in my comments for quite a few things that will take some time or at least need some discussion so I can understand a little more. Um, but I, I think are kind of missing from the document. I, I think it would be uh, quite unfair of me to drop this at the last minute. Um, so we want to to come in and, and have our questions and things like that as as early as we reasonably can. Um, and, and I think the expectation isn't that like we walk into that meeting and then out of the meeting, um, you know, after that, there's sort of no changes need to be made or things. I think that that meeting in part is is meant for us to have a discussion. So we as reviewers can kind of compare notes about what we all have seen and think and then, you know, maybe ask for some additional things or drill into questions where we might, you know, I might say, oh, I thought it worked this way. And then someone else might say, no, I think it works that way. And then um, based on, on what we understand, then we understood different security properties to be the case out of, out of uh, where Harbor is today. So, yeah, absolutely. And I want to echo that. So, you know, Andres and Justin and others have added comments that it took me a while to actually go. And I mean, I'm, I'm writing, I wrote like three, four pages of new content for questions that, that came up so far. So, uh, you know, and, and I try every night to replenish them. I know Justin added a couple more comments yesterday that I need to replenish tonight um, and, and add them. So the earlier that these comments come in, then gives me us gives me more time to uh, to internalize it and add the content if it's something new that's being asked for. Yeah, and also feel free to push back um, a little if there's things that you think 
are sort of just unreasonable or duplicative or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, that should be like, I think, a, a discussion that you certainly should have with, um, with uh, like Andreas and whoever the person is that's having it and maybe just have it in the Slack channel to say, hey, um, I did these things, but I looked at this and I just don't see how this would help. And I feel like we already say this here and you can read this. Can we, you know, isn't that enough? I, I think that's that's fine. We're we're not just trying. You're not you're not at the mercy of all of us telling you know having to follow all of our exact commands. We're just trying to get clarification to help make the best document possible for this. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. I mean, I, so far everything has been reasonable, uh, and you know, obviously, to an outsider that doesn't know Harbor, the questions don't seem out of work, like me that I know Harbor is like, hey, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is expected, that's their natural thing. But obviously this document is meant to be standalone or stand on its own. So um, it's, so far everything has been reasonable. So I've been adding them as like, uh, as, as we go along. Uh, there are, you know, uh, for the most part, I think um, Andres asked for, there were, let's say 10 links that pointed to other documents. He asked for uh, somebody in this doc. I think eight out of those 10, I did it for the other two. Uh, because it's a living document and things like roadmaps and other things change so frequently, I opted to keep the external links because it's the right thing to do. Like someone that sees this two months from now, uh, will get completely outdated information in some of those areas. But th thanks. Thank you. Uh, does that conclude your update, Justin? It does. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we don't have any PRs noted for chair approval or general discussion nor presentations, but there is one thing here in the notes that I'm just going to set up a screen share here for and see if we can identify who the contributor is just so we can raise it and if not defer to a future discussion. Let's see. It's, is my browser coming through? Yes, and I think this is actually someone who is looking to be able to take this to the Kubernetes um, security group first. Okay. I uh, don't believe this needs to be here, but I will go back in and chin. I believe I know who's doing, like, who's, who's putting this stuff in. Okay, yeah. I'm not much familiar myself where it should go or whatnot, but if there's some better place to... Put it, it looks it. really Kubernetes specific and not as focused for the CNCF like overall project group. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, with that being said, probably attendees. Carry on. <laughs> so uh, before I go to the the open floor, since there's no presentations or additional topics there, and I'll just quickly note that if there's anyone that's uh, new here today, I'm still learning all the names myself. Uh, feel free to just ping via the uh, chat function there if you'd like to be introduced or. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, with that being said, we can just jump straight into the open floor. So anyone wants uh, to bring up any topics, now's your chance. Uh, I had a question, maybe, uh, maybe a clarification. So in the broader charter of uh, SIG security, I mean, I, I, I mean, forgive me, I should go and read all the documentations available as well, and I'll do that. But uh, uh, is it to be the oversight community committee, for example, to provide guidance on, on new projects, do the security assessments, of course, that we're doing and those kinds of things. And what are the other activities that we could take on and propose, just broadly speaking? I mean, if, uh, if Dan, you or someone could talk about that, it's just, just a good sense of what are the broader uh, uh, projects or activities that we could take up and address that would be helpful to identify and index as we think through what we can do. Does that make sense? So again, you're, you're looking for, uh, uh, you know, uh maybe, uh, no, not, not necessarily plugged in or yeah, identifying where we can plug in, where we can contribute as well as what are the broader, uh, broader charter for six security? Where do we get plugged in? How do we contribute? How do we collaborate with the broader ecosystem or how do we, um, uh, do we float new security projects? Does it come out through here? Uh, like a incubating project, you know, those kinds of things. Got it. So, 
uh, you know, let me let me sort of start with some of the no's. Um, so, in terms of um, you know building actual um, you know CNCF projects, uh, we have many of um, you know active participants in, you know from projects, but you know this uh, SIG is um, you know a consortium of subject matter experts that um, you know supports the uh, actions and activities of the, the TOC. So um, you know we are not in the, the business of um, you know maintaining software or um, you know kicking off an effort. Um, you may you know through uh, you know th these meetings or through um, you know the activities of SIG security. You may meet somebody that you know then uh, you know peel off from there. Um, but you know there's no expectation that I would set that this is going to be um, a source for oh okay we need to go build this thing you know start writing code. Um, it's much more a forum of uh, subject matter experts. Um, so you know right now our um, you know most um, active uh, and repeatable workflow. Actually, there there, there are two of them. Um, there's uh, the security assessments, and um, there's the uh, you know run of business. Um, so Matthew's been um, you know uh, very graciously um, acting as facilitator. Um, so um, you know he he's gone through. Um, you know, the, the past month as a facilitator, um, we will uh, in the near future, um, you know, be nice to have um, it's a rotation of, of the uh, forces. So if you'd like to, um, you know, take up some of the, the, the you know, that work, um, there's, there's that as, um, you know, kind of an immediate uh, activity. Um, then in terms of engaging, um, you know, various other, um, you know, working groups, there's need, um, you know, we, we have, uh, you know, kind of an open uh, discussion with, um, you know, NIST as an organization where, um, you know, there's some crossover interest, but there's no uh, active liaison. Um, so, you know, that's an opportunity. Um, but, uh, you know, as with most other open source activities, no one's really going to tell you uh, what to do. So if there's an opportunity that you see to um, you know, support these efforts or to connect the effort, efforts that are uh, you know, going on in other forums and you, know, you want to identify that as um, you know, something that you're doing on behalf of the group, then um, you know, uh, I invite you to, to bring it to the forum and, you know, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, you know, if it's under the, um, you know, overall uh, governance and guidance of uh, what we set forth as uh, what we do here at SIG Security, then, uh, you know, I, I would expect us to support that. That's perfect. Great. Thanks a lot, Dan. I really appreciate that. Okay. Are there any topics anyone else would like to bring up? Um, may, may, I, may I quickly introduce myself, uh, since I have, I've, I've been lurking on your call today. Uh, this, uh, yes, so this is, this is Paul Howard. Um, I work for ARM. I'm a solutions architect. Uh, and I'm working on a project that's collaborative across ARM and Docker and some other organizations that we are looking to we're looking to make presentation um, to the TOC at some point for sandbox adoption. Uh, the name of the project is Parsec, and I'm basically looking, it, it's a security focused project, so I, I think it would be of interest to um, the security SIG. And I guess what I'm looking for is, because we're expecting to put a presentation together for the SIG at some point, I'm looking for examples of good practice. So I, I lurked on the call today on the off chance that there might be a presentation. Of course, I haven't checked the agenda, so uh, I guess there, there are no presentations yeah, today. Yeah. I gather you record your calls and put them on YouTube. Is that is that correct? That's correct. And, and can, can, you, can you advise me on the... I was just going to say, if you go to Google and just CNCF YouTube, it's uh, one top level YouTube page for all CNCF SIG 
uh, presentations and they just get uploaded automatically about a day or two later after the meeting concludes. And okay. We had a presentation just last week. Um, while you continue, I'll go find a link and paste it in the group chat. Uh, I, well, to be honest, I was kind of done. I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk at length about the project at the moment. We haven't put our TOC proposal together yet, but we are. We're, we're marshalling our forces to 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 do that and and get, getting all of the information and all of the collateral together to make a presentation and to uh, and and to follow the documented process for getting it um, for the TOC's attention. Uh, so um, we, we'll be we'll be following the documented process in in due course. Uh, for now, I'm really just trying to get a feel for, um, you know, e examples of good practice or any uh, any bits of advice um, in, in terms of making good representation for the project. And um, yeah, that's that that's it really. There, and it's good. It's good to meet you all as well. Right, well, thank you. Um, there's two completed assessments: one for in toto, in toto and one for open policy agent. Um, if you take a look at those assessments, they also give you an idea of what like the completed process looks like. Um, so that that may be a reasonable place, and you'll also find template documents and things like that um, when you're ready to start that part of the process. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, that's that's great. That's that's that gives me some things to go off and look at. That's, that's brilliant. Thank you. No, I didn't want to take up any more of your time in this meeting, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to lurk on your call and not introduce myself. <laughs> so so uh, thank you. Um, just following up on the heels of that one, I'm just going to quickly do a screen share here to confirm with Justin if I have the correct link here, just so I can provide it for uh, visibility slash tracking. So I'm just going to quickly share this. Is this the correct one? Justin, and the links here, are these the links to the assessment itself, or should I be looking elsewhere to find the, the formal document? Yeah, you'll find the, um, there's a directory somewhere that has this. I, I think they're linked off of here too. Um, but the closed issues should have the assessments for them, but there's also somewhere under their assessments, uh, projects. Ah, there we go. There you go. Oh. And, and then there's Spiffy Spire documents there too. So I, I'd recommend taking a, a look at, at uh, those. Okay, I'll just paste those in the chat. Just want to make sure I'm not sending people on a wild goose chase. Okay, anyone else uh, that'd like to take the mic? Okay, so I give about 10 seconds of crickets as uh, we're all done. All right. With that being said, that wraps up today's meeting. Hope everyone stays in good health and good spirits and hope to see you all next week. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you all.